And without further ado, let's go to our tail of the take for our main event of the evening. It is for the unified super middleweight championship of the world. Both men in their fighting primes. Billy Joe Saunders, two inches taller than Canelo, who have a slight reach advantage. Both men look as fit as could be at yesterday's weigh-in. This, of course, is scheduled for 12 rounds. Here are the unified rules of boxing. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. Folks. Saunders has decried this as the modern day David versus Goliath. Let's see if he can do it. Saunders in the green and blue trunks with the yellow gloves, Canelo in the teal. First punch from Canelo is an uppercut. Another jab from Saunders. Carl, how much different do you notice Canelo's style changes when he fights the southpaw? Well, he's obviously a little bit more cautious. He doesn't want to throw anything because he knows that counter left cross will be coming back to him. And you know Saunders here, just, just out of range, but he's in the danger zone when he backs up here into the corner and against Sam Roach. He doesn't want to be there. I want to welcome those of you joining us in over 200 countries around the world. Of course, also in the United Kingdom. Good morning to you. Billy Joe Saunders trying to pull off the upset here in Arlington, Texas. Heavy body shot landed by Canelo. Well, Canelo back Saunders up there, putting on the ropes almost, and then really loaded up with that big body shot. Straight right hand connects for Canelo, the crowd roars. And he said Canelo is just relentless. Let him go, Saunders. Don't hold. Fight. Eddie Reynoso, the trainer for Canelo, says, listen, I don't usually make predictions. I don't tell you what Canelo is going to do or what I think he's going to do. However, after all the trash talk Billy Joe Saunders has given us, I think we're going to knock him out. Concentrate constantly, but these, these big shots from Canelo. He's not really. Oh, there's a right hand that moves him back. Good work from Canelo there. Canelo's looking for that counter right uppercut. He's already missed it three times, but he's thrown it with a lot of power. Oh, a right hand, best punch of the fight. Billy Joe says, come on. Canelo doubled up on that right hook to the body and the head. Now these are heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting lots into these shots. Billy Joe saying, these aren't bothering me, I'm okay. But trust me, we can see and hear these shots. They're heavy. And here's that right hand that they want out of Canelo. Lands on the side of the head, right on the neck. Boxers aren't accustomed to getting hit in the neck, and it's an awkward punch, awkward feeling, but Saunders took that well. Straight right hand scores for Canelo. Now he's throwing more power punches. He's certainly settling in as BJ waves him in. Saunders needs to double and triple up that jab. Back up, Canelo. Maybe you could get something going with the combination just like that. That's right, put the shots together, get some work, catch the judges' eyes. Don't just sit there and soak up these big counters. It's good work from Billy, nice head movement. Just missing with that uppercut, you hear the crowd's reaction. And that's the punch that Canelo is barely missing. That's the fourth big uppercut that just missed the chin of Billy Joe Saunders. That straight right hand from Canelo to the body Ooh. as well. There's the uppercut, and he nods yes that time. Mouthpiece almost came flying out of B.J. Saunders there. Mannix asked why fighters shake no. He said, yes, you got me there. All right, so what we're seeing here is a nice little short uppercut from Canelo, almost knocking out the gum shot of Billy Joe Saunders. And that was one of a rare shot that landed in this round. Good shot from Canelo. Oh, oh nice here. double jab there from Saunders. That's a great jab from Saunders. See, if he can do more of them double jabs, then put two shots on the back of it. Get out of range. 
That's what we want to see. And Saunders has this lethal left uppercut. He steps back, and if he can catch Canelo with that left uppercut, he might he might uh, sway uh, the fight in his favor. Oh, oh, nice left hook from Saunders. He's always in position to punch. This is what I want to see more from Saunders. And not only is he scoring more right now, Chris Mannix, but he's fighting with confidence. He is fighting with confidence. I'm not so sure I'd be fighting with my hands down quite as much, but he is starting to get into a rhythm, especially with that jab. Sergio, do you feel the momentum changing, or do you think it's a one-off? No, I think it's a two-off. I gave Billy Joe Saunders his last <laughs> two rounds, and I think he's feeling it now. This is, this is what you need to see with such a, a, a precise puncher like Saunders. He needs to have that swag and that confidence to be firing in all cylinders. Swing and a miss by Canelo. You don't see a miss by that much too often. Saunders doing the job defensively. Caught him with a quick short hook on the inside. Good catch and counter by Saunders right there. He needs to be busier, Carl, but with a jab. Smart jab, just like that. Smart jab, yeah. Don't get too confident, but... I don't want to speak too soon, but this is good work from Billy Joe Saunders. This is great work by He's Saunders. relaxed. He knows how he's relaxed. You said to yourself, when his arms come down low a little bit, it looks, it looks dangerous, but that's when he's in his rhythm. Saunders shook it off. Sticks his tongue out right now. That's a Tyson Fury move. Well, this is the mind games. You see at the start of the round, his arms up, playing to the crowd. And this is what BJ Saunders needs to do. Catch and counter every single time, right in the bread basket right there. Canelo felt that shot. This was a good round by Canelo, but catch and counter if you're Billy Joe, once in the inside. Uppercut from Canelo. Chris, did you expect it to be this close in round seven? I didn't, because when you face Canelo Alvarez, as we've talked about, you can talk about what you're going to do in the ring. But when you go up against that type of speed and that type of power, the game plan changes almost in an instant. But Billy Joe Saunders has stuck to his game plan, and his game plan has been incredibly effective. Effective because this is a Southpaw's MO. This is the way they fight. They're polished and sophisticated behind that jab, using Southpaw angles, escaping to the right. Round eight, Arlington, Texas, AT&T Stadium. Super middleweight championship of the world. A very competitive contest, extremely close. Canelo continues to fire those power shots, most of them missing. And Saunders told us he can't afford to lose rounds or give up an inch, and he's doing exactly what he said. This is a close fight. Inch for inch, punch for punch. Chris, do you, still, do, you, do you sense that Canelo's still just trying to figure him out a little bit? I think he's definitely trying to figure him out. And I think Billy Joe Saunders throwing punches from different angles, giving him different looks, staying on the move. These are scoring shots that Saunders is landing, and Canelo is not returning much in coming back. Keep in mind, Eddie Reynoso and Canelo, for that matter, predicted they would stop Saunders in either round seven, eight, or nine. If Canelo is going to rely on power punches, which is evident that's what he's looking for, he's going to have to be busier. I agree. All right, Carl, let's hear your scorecard right now. How do you have it through seven full rounds? 68-66 to Canelo. He had a great start. And finished. Finished pretty strong. The last round, I didn't separate in the last round. 68-66, Canelo. He's only two rounds up. Saunders took an awkward step back, and now he's holding on. Chris, your scorecard, you've got Saunders ahead. I've got 68-65 in favor of Billy Joe Saunders. I look at the last couple of rounds, Carl, and you look. see Canelo landing big shots like he's here. And look, the, the, the right eye of Saunders is swelling up. Canelo rallying his troops here at AT&T Stadium. And this is what Canelo does to opponents. He breaks down opponents, opponents and makes them weary of the shots that are coming their way. He's like a matador. Well, that's the power from Canelo. Billy says he's OK, but this is a bad moment for him in this fight. He predicted a KO in round eight or nine. And he's...
He's heating up right now. I don't like the body language, how he's reacting to the feints. Billy Joe Saunders is biting on feints now. That's because he's worried about the power. Exactly. He's not sure what's happening with his eye until he gets back to his corner. And he's quick to smother the attack of Canelo, hugging and breaking the distance instead of countering back. Oh, a straight right hand. Yeah, Billy Joe needs to hear this bell here, go to the corner and regroup. Nice left uppercut from Canelo. This is his best round. So perhaps order has been restored if you're a Canelo Alvarez fan. Canelo acting like he's already knocked him out. And it is over. They have stopped the fight. They have stopped the fight. It is over. Canelo gets the knockout win. I'm not sure what happened in the corner of Saunders. Nevertheless, the pound for pound king with another win in the Lone Star State. When the going got tough, Billy Joe Saunders didn't get up from the stool. That high prevented him from fighting his fight. He didn't think we'd see the 10th round, Sergio. He told us he'd knock him out before then, and that's what he did. That's exactly what he did. He predicted the rounds, and they came to fruition. I mean, they must have sensed and felt that the second half of the fight is where Billy Joe Saunders fades or doesn't have another gear, and Canelo capitalized on that. He's got so many belts he came and hold them. He just took Billy Joe's WBO super middleweight title, the only one remaining, belongs to Caleb Plant. Ladies and gentlemen, acting on the advice of Saunders Corner, the referee calls a halt to the contest. At the end of round eight, the winner by TKO victory, and now the unified super middleweight champion of the world, the Guadalajara Jalisco Mexico, Saul Canelo.